guys my name is Vuvu and this is Vuvu Vena Reads if you're new on here please consider pressing that red subscribe button down below and joining the family if you are a member of the fam bam, welcome back fam and thank you for joining me once again on today's video I am reviewing this debut novel by South African author Tande Gamakubu called where we belong if you're interested in that please do stay tuned so Vuvu Vena underscore reads is an amazing book reviewer also youtuber she reviews books on youtube and if i'm not mistaken she also has a blog as well so please if for your connection with literature get in touch with or follow at v-u-v-u-v-e-n-a underscore reads she is based in south africa and i think it is also extremely important to follow literary content creators who are based outside of who are based outside of the west and in continental africa because they do a really good job of Bridging the gap. We appreciate you, Vuvu, for bringing us turning pages and for bringing us your booktube channel. You know, this is a chance for people to actually see some people that I really enjoy. Please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below. And if you are a returnee, welcome back, fam. Vuvu, you're amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, let's start with the cover. The cover is of a boy. This looks like a boy child who looks like they're on a journey. It look, this looks like a path or a tear on a path. And all you can see is him. So it's a lone journey. And um, there's a shadow of himself behind him. And it looks like he's on what seems to be a journey of self-discovery. He's headed somewhere, right? Whether it's somewhere where he will belong or it's somewhere where he's going to discover a few things. It looks like an adve adventure. Though there is this like solemn feel about it, like it's a melancholy adventure in a sense. And at the back of the book has this Ankara print that is in theme with the blue on the front. This is the same print that she put on her cup that she sent with her book package so this book was sent to me by the author for review purposes so where we belong is a story of self-discovery it is a story of finding your path to owning yourself for yourself in the story we we learn about all the characters through the point of view of Banele who is our main character Banele is a high school senior who is discovering his sexuality after his first heartbreak he is growing up in a household where masculinity is being portrayed to him in the most staunchest of ways it is being shown to him in what you would even call a toxic um manner and he has to navigate what he feels of himself as a young man as well as what it is that society is showing to him as well as what it is that his household is revealing to him to be what manhood should be and those two things are juxtaposed to each other um his heartbreak is from a female other it results in school ground bullying from boys who seem to know what manhood should be or who seem to articulate well what the manhood that his father has asked him or has asked of him to live up to and these things being in contrast with who he is cause a lot of internal turmoil in his life um up until he meets another young boy who's also a senior in the same high school called jabulani his meet cute with jabulani reveals a lot about banele's life but even through jabulani's lens we come to learn about what manhood means in jabulani's life and both of these stories are imbued with toxicity in terms of the understanding of what manhood is as well as young men trying to make sense of this manhood for themselves in order to show up in society as they will so it is through this meeting that they become friends and um lovers and it is through this meeting that we discover the the angst in anele i mean the angst in banele trying to discover who exactly he is in terms of his sexuality and how he wants to show up in the world jabulani on the other hand is also suffering from his own um family bound issues around manhood and has to navigate those as well the story is written very very well 
in navigating the story tandega touches on very important themes themes around love around parenting around fatherhood whether it be present or absent around where men learn to to affirm toxic masculinity and how it, it it probably has no bearing in the greater scheme of living one's life as authentically and honestly as they can we also see um themes around friendship around um bullying around how much of yourself you can compromise and the scarring that fatherlessness leaves on children as well as the scars that we leave on our children when expecting them to fit societal norms in order for them to be palatable to society i really think that it is a story that is worth keeping on your shelf especially if you have boy children but it is the kind of story that i think every parent should definitely read so the other fascinating thing about this book is definitely who the author is let me read you a little bio about who tandega makubu is at the back tandega makubu is a high school student based in johannesburg south africa when she is not keeping busy with school the gym reading or scouting for ice cream in the fridge she spends her time writing she likes to incorporate her outlook on the world in literature and challenge society's social constructs on race, gender, sexuality, and mental health. On my blog is currently her favorite TV show. Pan-African literature is rising in her list of things to love, and True Love by Wizkid is currently her favorite song beware this is likely to change in a week where we belong is her debut novel so the fascinating thing for me in terms of who the author is is that firstly she is also a high schooler and this is a big feat to be talking about such societal issues in a, such a profound succinct way in a book that portrays the hardships of what it is to be a man in south africa as a female author i think that she has gotten into the mind of young men as well as made such an important um social commentary on what south african society deems to fit to to call a man and what it is that young men need to live up to in order to be considered masculine in our society and for somebody as young as she is i think that this is something that is highly profound and something that needs to be consumed in order for that discourse to continue what i didn't like about the book is that at some point i did feel like the story could have been a little bit more condensed and some of the uh and we could have gotten more insight into some of the characters including banela's mom as well as his dad as well as jabulani's dad what i absolutely loved about the story is um the writing style i absolutely loved how eloquent she is on paper um she manages to conjure up the images that she needs to conjure up she does a very good portrayal of that um writing technique called show don't tell which means that she writes in a manner in which you can see what the story is and she doesn't really necessarily tell you what it is i hope that you can hopefully you guys can understand what i'm trying to say with that also i love the length of it um because i feel like it takes a lot of discipline especially as a first time author to be able to keep your book as short as possible that being said it's not a contradiction that i feel like it could have been cut down a little bit more but i applaud her ability to not make it longer than it needed to be i also absolutely loved the relationship between jabulani and banele as well as the relationship between banele and his best friend um i loved the internal struggle that the Mandela's father was facing as well in his upbringing and his understanding of what masculinity should be and how it contradicted everything that um he expected of his son and why that was the case because essentially we only do or we can only portray what it is that we have been shown in terms of how we raise our kids and how we expect them to show up in society and ultimately i suppose what she was communicating with that as well is that it was a love for his child that he had these expectations on on him because society does expect him to be a certain way
um at the end of the day i ended up giving this book a 3.5 stars i think that it was a very well done book i look forward to hearing more from this author and i think that it is a young new voice that you should definitely be looking to hear from um in terms of south african literature that's all from me for today and obviously <laughs> I, I squeezed myself into this lovely t-shirt that she sent with the book package which is titled by her book where we belong and down below it has her name and and I will try and put where you can get a copy of this book down in the description box below until next time thank you so very much for choosing me